big change underway as we're on the air tonight. Many passengers will learn that they can now leave their gadgets on even during takeoff. World News hearing from passengers across the country as they heard the news late today and tonight some airlines racing to get started. Here's ABC's David Curley. Stephanie. Uh, cell phone, laptop, tablet. And Stephanie. Let's see. Come on, bring them out. <laughs> travel a lot with their gadgets, which they're about to use a lot more on planes. I read on my tablet, playing Candy Crush, just fun stuff. After an exhaustive study, the government today announced that using your device on takeoff and landing is not a problem. Most commercial airplanes can tolerate radio interference from portable electronic devices. So here's what that means. If the airlines meet new guidelines, flyers can use smartphones, tablets, e-readers in airplane mode from gate to gate. But no cell phone calls, no texting, and only heavy devices, mostly laptops, will have to be stowed for takeoff and landing. We asked some flyers to react on a device. I can really listen to my music while I'm uh, taking off because I, I don't like takeoffs. Um, I enjoy reading electronic books. By just using an electronic device, my kids are able to travel with ease. But flight attendants worry we'll be so busy with our devices we won't listen to safety briefings. Every flight is different in that you understand where your exits are in the unforeseen event that you would have to do an evacuation. Airlines are racing to meet the standards and the head of the FAA is ready to join the rest of us. If I see you on a flight, will I see you reading your Kindle or looking at your iPhone? Probably an iPad. The airlines are racing to be the first to offer this service to the passengers. The FAA received a couple of requests today and says it will process them soon. Does that mean you could actually use one of these gate to gate starting tomorrow? We'll see, David. We'll see. David Curley tonight in D.C. David, thanks.